Smacking the mic. Smacking my brain. Okay, that's dangerous. Not doing that. <sighs> All right. Uh, one actual session of dry heaving later and we're back. Oh my God. All right, let's cut to the chase. This is anti-Bralloom propaganda. They want you to forget about your boy Bralloom and fawn over this waifu plant instead. Don't you fall for it. So in short, Hisui and Lilligant is a ballet dancer. You can see it in her pose, shoes, outfit, signature move called Victory Dance, and the name Lilligant, an elegant lily. Yunovan Lilligant is just another kind of elegant, resembling Western high-class women's fashion from the 1700s, especially ball gowns. After all, it learns pedal dance upon evolving, meaning that pedal dance is a big part of its design. So yes, it's an elegant dancer, a ballroom dancer. And then, according to many Pokedex entries, this Pokemon has a lot to do with aromatherapy. The fragrance of the garland on its head has a relaxing effect. Sniffing the aroma calms your heart and mind. Essential oils made from Lilligant flowers have a sublime scent, but they're also staggeringly expensive. And even Hisui and Lilligant, the scent it exudes from its flower crown heartens those in proximity. It's an easy connection to make, really. Flowers and herbs smell good, and are often the primary ingredients used in the making of essential oils. Now, a lot of people wince with the term essential oils whenever it's brought up because of, well, let's just say a rabid fan base with a lot of overlap with the anti-science vax goodness folks, you know? They don't realize that you can get all of the benefits of a vaccine with none of the autism if you just rub a little holy basil oil on the injection spot. It brings the power of God to your base ill. It's in the name. But keeping to reality, aromatherapy is a legitimate use of essential oils, and it's pretty straightforward. You put good holistic smells in the air of the room, and now it smells nice. Nice smells are relaxing and in turn can reduce headaches and be calming. How pleasant. Like, it's that simple. You ever smell bacon in the morning and get hungry? That's more than enough proof that smell affects mood. It can even be used to treat anxiety, dry mouth, low appetite, nausea, and more. I could really use some right now after all that spinning. And speaking of smell and taste, do you think I could guess what a Japanese snack food is without seeing it? Maybe if I put enough of them in my mouth, I can guess. Not fruit marshmallow. Or if it is fruit, it's sakura, which isn't a fruit. Strawberry? No, chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate! It's a sakura latte marshmallow. I said sakura latte? The answer is sometimes. But this challenge and video are possible thanks to sponsors like Sakura Co. and Tokyo Treat. Each fantastic monthly box is filled with Japanese goodies. With Sakura Co., your monthly boxes will include up to 20 traditional and authentic artisan Japanese snack items, some of which are recipes passed down from over a century ago. And each box also contains a specially crafted Japanese tableware. This month's theme is matcha, and thanks to the included booklet, I now know a matcha stuff about it. Good soup. And with Tokyo Treat, you will get up to 20 of the latest, greatest, limited edition and seasonally flavored snacks only available in Japan for a limited time. Yeah, things that are not only Japan exclusive, but are limited in time too. And if you order by April 30th, you'll receive the same box I got. And when you order, be sure to use the coupon code LOXTON for $5 off. The best of them all. I love fish shaped things, except fish. It's like a strawberry ice cream cone. It's so good childhood. Save a link and get sweet stinking because of the sugar high. Honestly though, this Kit Kat assaults your nose with banana smell in a good way. It's almost therapeutic, like aromatherapy. Where were we? Ah oh, yes, aromatherapy! What it does not cure, despite what plenty of folks will tell you, is depression, cancer, or decapitation, or whatever else they're claiming these days. You're also being sold what is practically, or literally at times, snake oil. The part of the Pokedex that says Lilligan's essential oils are staggeringly expensive? Yeah, all these recent health claims are just so they can charge more for a drop of herb diluted in a whole vial of water. Not even, a drop of herb diluted in a whole barrel of water that then makes over a thousand vials. These oils aren't regulated. They can put anything they want in there and just slap a label on it because, you know, freedom good. And it's not like you're avoiding big pharma by using these oils instead of medication. Most of the big oil brands are owned by the same companies. 
well, you know, companies that are owned by companies that are owned by companies, you know, illusion of choice and all that. There's only two brands of glasses. There's only like two brands of most medication. They're preying on your feelings. I thought you were supposed to be all facts over feelings. Anyway, the legitimate use of essential oils has been a thing for over a millennia. Ancient China, India, and Egypt did it a bunch. And essential oil distilling was done in Persia since at least the 10th century. Plenty historical and cultural significance for a Pokemon, you know. So, what sort of essential oil does one get from a Lilligant? Well, the most well-known for its calming effect is lavender, but Lilligant and Petalil do not resemble lavender in the slightest. Rather, its leaves seem to resemble the leaves of various mints. Spearmint, peppermint, especially Petalil. And fun fact, Kitami, the city in Hokkaido that Celestic Town is based on, at one point produced 70% of the world's mint. They are incredibly mint farmers. So there's another reason why Lilligant is in Hisui. All the mint. You know when Lilligant's flower seems to resemble an orange flower, and I'm not just saying that because it's orange, but I mean like the fruit orange. Look at a mandarin orange flower, or a pomelo flower. These are both also used in calming essential oils. The only flower that really resembles Lilligant's better is the orange Asiatic lily, which is also a lily, Lilligant, it's in the name. It's just not used for calming essential oils nearly as much, if at all. However, I've talked about the language of flowers a few times on this channel. In short, it's a way to communicate a message through the symbolism of flowers or bouquets. Asiatic lilies are symbols of beauty, marriage, and purity in Western cultures. Lilligant is wearing a large, elegant gown after all, and is seemingly pure and innocent. When orange, specifically, they are symbols of warmth, confidence, and passion. Vibrant satisfaction in life. When pink, though, like on Hisui and Lilligant, they symbolize healing, love, admiration, and femininity. I suppose that's fitting of a ballet dancer. Ballet is widely seen as a very beautiful, pristine, feminine dance. And many would very well call it elegant and high class, very fitting of Lilligant. But there is one stark difference between ballroom dancing and ballet. And that's how a hardcore it is! Ballet dancers need intense core strength and body coordination, unrivaled balance and ripped up legs, figuratively due to the power of their muscles, and literally because ballerina legs and feet are used to the point of intense bruising and ripped skin. People who say ballet is some frilly woman's dance have no idea about the pain and the intense training it takes to be perfect. It's not at all unlike the kind of training martial arts users go through. Disciplined, rigorous, strength and motion enhancing training. It's no wonder Hisui and Lilligant adds fighting type to its previous mono grass. She's a bad grass fighter now. Legs so strong and motion so well trained, there's no need to differentiate her kick attacks from a martial artist's. Plus, just think about how many video games have a fighting character just use dance moves, you know? Heck, Pokemon already does that with Hitmon Top being a capoeira dancer. Granted, that's a dance that's also a martial art. But still, question though. So what is a ballet dancing plant doing in Hisui in Pokemon Legends Arceus? which is based on Hokkaido, roughly during the Meiji Restoration. Good question! Japan is no stranger to ballet, but it's not like they are known for it. However, super summarized history lesson time, the reason Japan finally decided to colonize and forcefully integrate Hokkaido into itself is because Russia was starting to do the same thing. It's why you'll find a few Russian Orthodox cathedrals in Hokkaido, and why you'll find many of the islands surrounding Hokkaido being claimed by both Japan and Russia. And heck, Sakhalin, the long island that Sinnoh's battle frontier is on, is a part of Russia. It's easy to think of Russia as European, but nah, they spread all the way east and more and more south. The reason this is worth bringing up though is because for a time, Russia was the world leader in ballet. Around the year 1500, ballet found its beginnings in Italy. 
A century later, France did that thing it always does with everything and said, nah, it's French now, and it continued spreading throughout Europe, different areas developing different signature styles. And then, quote, by 1850, Russia had become a leading creative center of the dance world, and as ballet continued to evolve, certain new looks and theatrical illusions caught on and became quite fashionable. Dancing on point became popular during the early part of the 19th century, with women often performing in white, bell-like skirts that ended at the calf. Point dancing was reserved for women only, and this exclusive taste for female dancers and characters inspired a certain type of recognizable, romantic heroine. A sylph-like fairy whose pristine goodness and purity inevitably triumphs over evil and injustice. In fact, Swan Lake and the Nutcracker, the two most famous ballets ever, were by this Russian guy that I don't even want to try to pronounce the name of. P Piot Piotr? Piotr? Uh, Piotr Ilich? 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 Ilyich Tchaikovsky? Tchaikovsky? Tchaikovsky. Chives? Peter Lyich Tchaikovsky. Peter likes chives, see? So if there was ever going to be a Japanese ballet Pokemon, it makes the most sense to have it in Hisui because Hokkaido had plenty of Russian influence and also the peak of the Russian ballet craze was at the exact same time as the Meiji Restoration. Late 1800s to, to very early 1900s. History is so neat. But perhaps there is more to her design. Notably, ballet dancers typically don't have these upward pointed shoes, especially on the back. So could ice skating play a role here? <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. That's ice skating jump move 101. Hokkaido is the winter wonderland of Japan after all, featuring many winter sports centers, even hosting the Winter Olympics and many ice skating competitions. And also, professional figure skating is just ballet on ice. It's fancy, elegant, performative, seen as more feminine, takes intense training, and you do plenty of pirouettes in both. That's like the main link between ballet and figure skating. And Hisuian using leaf blade takes on a whole new meaning when she does so with her feet, like she does. And also, when and where did figure skating first become competitive? Ah, also the late 1800s. The first figure skating world championship? 1896. St. Petersburg, Russian Empire. Also, just look at historic ice skates. The first were pointed just like Lilligan's feet, and in the 1800s they got fancy ends. And in both ballet and figure skating, you typically wear little high skirts with the legs either bare or in tights for the better range of motion. Plus, with all of these Russian Empire connections, could you say that Lilligan's and Petalittle's head resembles a kokoshnik? Typical elegant headwear? No? Just me? Hmm. Well, either way. All in all, Hisuian Lilligant is a ballet figure skating mint lily that smells good. And that's pretty cool. Pretty bad grass. But that's a given since we're talking about ballet dancers, right? In fact, day of writing this video, the Russian Ballet Theater, as in THE Russian Ballet Theater. THE just changed their name to RBT to sort of limit their connection with Russia. A very brave move. Thanks for watching. Oh, I'm still gonna hurl. Uh, one more thing. One more thing! As mentioned in other videos, Cleavor is based on one of Nobunaga's generals. Sneasler is partially based on Nobunaga's wife. Samurat? On Nobunaga. And I think... Emphasis on think that maybe... Hisui and Lilligant is partially inspired by Nobunaga's sister, Oichi, who is actually a very major character in Pokemon Conquest 2, which, remember, is a Pokemon crossover with Nobunaga's Ambition, the tactical version of Koei's other game, Samurai Warriors, which these Pokemon potentially pull their designs from. The pop culture modernized depictions of these historical figures as seen in Samurai Warriors, rather than the real people in, like, their real portraits or whatever. But... 
Oichi, Nobunaga's sister, is classically against her brother's evil ways. Valiant, pure, and innocent are words to describe her in basically every depiction she's ever gotten. And famously, she marries Azai Nagamasa, which is an important note because, again, of those things that the flower symbolizes, remember. On top of this, her moveset primarily involves spinning and kicks, and she wears pink and has a flowery headdress tilted to the side, and a ballet outfit. The heck. It really makes me start to wonder if I missed a reference with my coverage of the other Hisuian Pokémon, you know? Well, what do you think? Let me know down below, and until next time, never stop using your noggin. I'm still nauseous. I'm never spinning again.